Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, I would like to convey the best compliments of His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen to the representatives of all the member countries of the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Please accept our greetings from the land of gross national happiness. This is a significant milestone for every individual and every nation associated with the UN for the last 75 years. If not for the COVID-19, this event is worthy of a festivity. May I take this opportunity to congratulate all the Secretaries General and their team who have contributed so much to make UN a success story. With every leadership, the organization rose to greater heights. Millions of families were lifted out of poverty, conflicts and crisis. Nations, irrespective of size and location, received a common platform as a member of one planet. In the 75 years of UN's existence, Bhutan has enjoyed being its part for almost five decades. UN has been a friend who supported our socio-economic programs and also set impetus to keep pace with the rest of the world. I thank the UN and partner countries for this support. Like the impact of climate change, COVID-19 pandemic once again reminds us that we are all interconnected. Global issues like climate change and pandemics affect developing countries disproportionately, which is why the theme for the 70th anniversary is very appropriate and timely. For the kind of future we want, we have to commit to multilateralism. If you do not strategize, if you do not act together, COVID-19 and future COVIDs will turn around the human developments and achievements by decades. And for the poorer countries, it will be almost irreversible. As we talk about the future we want, our next milestone is the UN's 100th anniversary. By then, we must achieve 100% literacy rate that empowers everyone with relevant skills and knowledge to help them live a meaningful life. Along with education, everyone must be 100% digitally competent to help them explore businesses and opportunities from anywhere in the world. And finally, as a doctor, I cannot help but pray that as UN turns 100 by the year 2045, our health system should have advanced so much that our life expectancy should touch three digits. If the world comes together, driven by common goals and dreams, no challenges can be difficult and no tasks unachievable. I look forward to closely following the deliberations and messages of the world leaders online. I extend my full support for the success of this year's General Assembly. I wish you all good luck. Thank you and touch it